Yes, guys, welcome to the Chelsea Man Football. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, guys. Good news, guys. This is fantastic, you know? You, you get that feeling, that excitement feeling in your heart. You're like, oh my God, it's good to be a Chelsea supporter. It's good to be a Chelsea fan these days, mate. It's very, very good. To be a Chelsea fan these days, right? <laughs> oh man, this is excitement. I don't know this guy's name, man. It's it's hard to pronounce his name. He has now official complete the Chelsea move. They are young midfielder. The one I said uh, the other day is he plays like Frank Lampard. Is is great. So <laughs> let's go to it. Cesar, Cesar, Cesley Casari has now completed his move to Chelsea. Welcome to Chelsea, Cesar. He has now complete his Chelsea move. That is very good to have a midfield in there. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, my friend. Fantastic. I'm loving this. As I said, it's good to be a Chelsea fan these days. It's so much better now. Our, our owner is doing magnificent thing. If you look where we're going, we're going in the right direction. We are looking in so many ways, my friend. We are looking everywhere. Every talent we can see, we can find around the world. We are getting them. Come on, come to Chelsea. You will win so much trophies. <laughs> What's going on guys the next transfer? I'm gonna feed you another one. It's it, it it's it's so excitement. It doesn't end there because we are still cooking in this transfer market, my friend. So get ready for excitement because today I'm excited just to wake up and see uh, my team they are progressing, my team they're making deals I didn't even expect. So, what deals again? Chelsea wants to push ahead with Aubameyang as a stopgap signing before next summer with Nkuku and Leo admired at Stanford Bridge. What does that mean? First of all, it's good we're getting Aubameyang. Aubameyang, we know, is going gonna, gonna to come to Chelsea. <clears throat> There's no problem with that. So, Aubameyang is not going to be a long... Uh, contract guy because that is going to be a crucial my friend they're going to talk about the trans uh the contract with abamian abamian is 33 i think you know what we give uh top uh, body gives uh people like older like 31 they give them so much um contract maybe abamian i'll say is going to be two years or three years contract <laughs> two year or three i can see that happen because top body he just does that. He's not Roman Ibrahimovic who will give you one year. But, you know, Top Boris is, is like that. <laughs> so, I, 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 for, my, for me, I, I think it's going to give him two or three years. So, let's see what's going to happen. But, Abamian is like a stopgap for Nkuku next season. We may go, um, go f look for Nkuku next season. Uh, but he's in, he's in Germany, right? In Bundesliga. He's in uh, where Timo Werner is, uh, Leisberg. That's Timo Werner team. Sometimes when I sit down and think about that, about Nkuku, transfer next summer, because German league is not very strong compared to Premier League. You see what happened to Timo Werner when he was Chelsea. He didn't do well. He failed. He went back to his old club and he scored in three minutes. <laughs> On long distance shot. That tells you what the Premier League is and the Bundesliga is. They is so much different because the Premier League, the defender, they're in your face. They're in your face. <laughs> they don't mess around, the defender in the Premier League. But in German, it looks like it's, it's much, much easy. The defender, they are not in your legs. They are not in your face. So I'm worried about that from Kuku. I won't, uh, honestly, I'm worried about Kuku to come to Chelsea. But Kuku may be different. He's not, a, he's not Timo Werner. You never know. So for me, 
it's a good deal, but at the same time, I'm worried because, you know, the history. <laughs> I don't know what it is about number nine at Chelsea. They are just don't do well. They're like, we're like cursed, man. We don't do well. <laughs> it's so annoying. Since Didier Droba left, number nine has been a problem, man. I would say that because when Diego Costa came in, he plays as a striker, he did magnificent things at Chelsea, but you, you know, but in general, number nine is not good. It's never been good. So the next one, guys, let me give you another one because this is, oh my God, I feel so good at Chelsea, man. Ah, man, this is good. I, unbelievable, man. I, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> We're going to have an owner who's going to do this uh, transfer. Discussion are expected to continue between Chelsea and Ast uh, Everton for Anthon Golden. Everton value him at 50 million. Chelsea see him as a, as a right-sided player and competition for Rhys James. Mm, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> competition for Rhys James. Mate... You're gonna be higher. You're gonna be very. You you have to be very very good to compete with our main main man, Rhys James. I think uh, Thomas Tuchel has looking has looked at this guy as like, okay, this is the right man to compete with Rhys James, <laughs> and I can see that um, to Thomas Tuchel. And I have watched Anthon Golden. Magnificent. Is is he is brilliant in every way. That's why Everton they are pricing so high, and I can see that they don't want to, uh, they don't want them let him go because that's too high. Fifty million is too high. But I can see why they are doing that because he's their main man. They can't let him go. I would do the same thing. <laughs> but you know, we want him. I think we're gonna get him by the end of this transfer. And the transfer is going to end very, very soon. So, we are cooking, my friend. We are cooking. <laughs> Another update on Abamian. I will never be tired of Abamian because, you know, I have to give you. I, I just have to read it. It's it's just sweet, sweet, sweet in my mouth. So, Abamian update. Told meeting with Chelsea on Thursday night was very positive. Personal teams won't be an issue. Chelsea and Abba camp are on the same purge about contract. It is now time to talk with Barca. 30 million price tag considered too high. Yeah, that's too high. 30 million for Abamian. I know Xavi wants to keep Abamian. And Abamian is open to move to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an issue for him, but 30 million, man, is too high. Chelsea, they are ready to pay 22 million, but Barcelona, they're like 30 million or a billion. No, my friend, come on. I'll pay them 25 million. They will accept it. <laughs> they will accept it. I'm telling you, for me, Ronaldo, <laughs> I know I talk about so much Ronaldo, but Ronaldo is open to move. Come on, <laughs> think about twice. <laughs> Twice, Ronaldo. Oh man! <laughs> but what's happening, guys? Another great update. Resta City centre back Wesley Fofana is also wanted by Chelsea. We know that, and will sign a long-term deal worth around two thirty million a week in basic salary if a deal can be struck between the clubs on the fee is alive could be a result in interest from clubs taking Tar Tarova Charaba on loan wow that's a, it is getting a lot of money mate a lot of money so when uh, I think Fofana is gonna be a Chelsea player I, I think this time is done it's just a uh, rest that they're trying you know to keep to have so much words in their mouth to try to keep for fana it's like let me let, let me go please let me go i don't want to stay at rest the city they are not gonna win the champions league they're not gonna win the premier league let me go to chelsea i, I i'm gonna win the champions league but <laughs> he, 
He wants to leave. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go. Why are you holding a guy that, who, who is not even happy? <laughs> Lester, come on. <laughs> I think, you know, I think uh, Fofana is a Chelsea player. He, he, he's, he's done for me. This is good. Um, I'm very sad in other way because about uh, Charaba because Charaba has proven he can he can play in the Chelsea team. And you know, like why put him on loan? Sometimes you know when I sit down and think about that, I'm like, why are we letting uh, Charaba leave? He's good. Last season you can see how uh, Charaba defended absolutely. Uh, monster on, on defense there's some there was some uh mistakes here and there but you can see that the guy is good you can see that the guy is working very very hard <laughs> so for me if i was thomas tuku i will keep charaba and i will buy for fana just to have that competition defending you know but the guy wants the game time he wants to play and the world cup is coming up so that is understandable, you know. Everybody they would do the same. If I was a if I was a player and I would do the same thing because I want game time. Respect for that from Charaba. Very, very good respect. So we'll see what's gonna happen. If he goes on loan, I see uh they uh they are uh, inter they're interested to take Charaba and the other teams. So we'll see where it goes. But I love Charaba to be honest. He's good fantastic fantastic my friend okay my friend thank you for watching the chelsea man football let me know about charaba long move let me know about cesar cesar Cassari. i don't know his name but i'm i'm sorry for pronounce his name wrong let me know he has signed for chelsea for up to 2026 let me know about uh for fana pushing and pushing he wants to come to the champions league football winner let me know about that guys i hope i'll see you very very soon my friend and have a lovely day god bless